Hello friends and welcome back to a brand new Loki reaction video, season 1, episode 3. So last episode was quite amazing, we saw Loki starting to work together with Agent Morbio and well, even though sometimes their dynamic can seem a little bit cringe, I, I guess I enjoy them as a duo, they're, they're kind of, how do you say that? They have great charisma together, I don't know how to say it. Whatever. But we saw them working together. Loki figured out that the Loki var variant that is killing everyone is hiding uh, in places where an apocalypse is going to start. Because when an apocalypse starts, you can do uh, lots of things without the time cooperation noticing. So they went to Alabama in 2050, where a big hurricane was going to happen. And Loki encountered female Loki there, who was the Loki variant that was killing all the time cooperation people and our Loki went after her even though Agent Morbio didn't want him to but I get why he did it. He's always out for himself and I enjoy that about him. He's my favorite MCU character. I think he is. Alright, I really enjoy the show. I love it. I love Loki and I'm excited for what what's gonna happen. I heard that episode 4 is really good but this is episode 3. But this is gonna lead to episode 4. So let's just go and watch this episode together. It's 40 minutes. What was the name? Um, Lamentis? Whatever that is. Let's just go ahead and watch Loki season 1 episode 3. Lamentis together, friends. The timekeepers are monitoring every aspect of this case. I think You're the, the timekeepers team are team not team real. Loki, wait! No, wait! Hunt! Yes. That ending was so cool. There's something in the water. Oh, this song pops. God, the green is so good. I, green is a cool color. Well, we could eat somewhere else. <laughs> Why That's female Loki, right? I don't... How many people are guarding the timekeepers? I'm sorry, what? Okay, that's cool. How long have we been best friends? Too long. I didn't realize it was her. This place, I... I remember I know this place, but I don't know you. It's okay. You're just tired. Mm. How do I find the elevators? They're gold. Female Loki looks weird. She should have had black hair, right? Uh... Okay, that's an opening. That is an opening. Oh, she actually goes there? Loki went after her, right? Oh yeah. The powers don't work. Don't fuck with female Loki. Apparently. He took the knives. He actually took the knives. Or plates, whatever they are. Why don't these people know how to fight? It's just... Oh. Mm. Few questions. Have you really got nothing else better to do? Are you sure you're a Loki? You're in my way. You are my way. I thought perhaps we could work together. But now I see... You lack vision. <laughs> hey! Oh god, it's boss lady. <laughs> Where did they go? Goodbye, variant. Oh, okay, I really want to see this. Not the only tech savvy Loki. Don't ever call me that. <laughs> tech savvy? No, a Loki. <laughs> Is that one of your powers? Where did you send us? Yeah, what the fuck is this? Lamentus. One. Okay, that's why the episode's called Lamentus. 2077. Do I know this place? I feel like I should know this place. You idiot! This is Lamentus 1. I don't know what that means. The moon that planet is about to press into and destroy. What are those? They all look like power stone. The infinity power stone. Oh. 
trying to control him. What are you doing? <laughs> you're trying to enchant me. It won't work. Why? Because you're a magician. No, because my mind is too strong. Fine. <laughs> Do you need me to get that thing recharged? That's the only reason you saved me out there. What is Maybe. It? Yeah. I mean, sure. Mm. The plan you interrupted was years in the making. Got it. And as soon as I turn that temp pad back on, I'm going straight back to the TVA to finish what I started. Good. And what's that? Oh, there's power somewhere on this moon. We just need enough of it to travel through interdimensional time and space. Oh, God. So it's a moon. It's not even a planet. Are there people on the moon or aliens? Slow down, variant. Don't call me variant. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not calling some faded photocopy of me, Loki. Good, because that's not who I am anymore. I'm Sylvie now. Sylvie? Oh, you changed your name. Brilliant. It's called an alias. It's not very Loki-like. Yeah? What exactly makes a Loki a Loki? Independence, authority, <laughs> style. She's weird, man. I agree with Loki. What's her plan? What's her thing? She doesn't even want to be called Loki, so she's Sylvie now. Okay, okay hand it over. <laughs> Pitiful. I'm not giving it to you. You're gonna have to try harder than that. It's so weird that she has blonde hair. Because all the Asgard people have blonde hair. Brute force is no substitute for diplomacy and guile. Noted. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry about that. Joffy. I enjoyed it. Well, <laughs> I, I did too. <sighs> oh. Hello, dear. Patrice? It's been a long time. You're as beautiful as I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was about to happen. Which one was that? Diplomacy? Don't. Or... <laughs> Don't. What do you devils want with me? We just want to ask you a question. Where is everyone? The Ark. The evacuation vessel. How do we get there? Train stations at Edge of Town. But you'll never get a ticket. Well, let's go. This is all very weird. Why was she talking in riddles again? Oh, but they're all gonna die, right? Because it's apparently it's an apocalypse. We're doing this one my way. How do it look? Like someone with a shit plan. It's a great plan. Hmm. Okay. Tickets? They don't have tickets. Whoa, hey! Taking this one to Sharu. Okay, and the tickets? Orders come from the top to get her on this train. <laughs> oh. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, I just remembered that headquarters radioed in their request for them this morning. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why doesn't Loki do the mind control thing? And he only does it with the scepter with the space dome. Just sit down. She's missing a horn. I have so many questions. Why I that wasn't even a plan. Oh really? Plans have multiple steps. Dressing as a guard and getting on a train is just doing a thing. Oh, you're a bit tired. Feel free to, you know, get some rest. <laughs> I can't sleep in a place like this. You can't sleep on a train? No, I can't sleep around untrustworthy people. Oh, right. That me. I'm not going to waste my time rooting around for the tempad when someone taught you fairly decent magic. My mother. What was she like? Mm. They're the same, right? She was, um... A queen of Asgard. She was good, purely decent. Are you sure she was your mother? Uh, no, she's not actually. I was adopted. Is that a bit of a spoiler for you? Sorry about that. <laughs> no, I knew I was adopted. What? They told you? Yeah. Did uh, they not tell you? No. So, tell me about your mother. I barely remember her. Just blips of a dream at this point. You know, when I was young, she'd do these little bits of magic for me. Turn her flower into a frog or cast fireworks over the water and it all seemed impossible but she told me that one day i'd be able to do it too because because i could do anything you want to see <laughs> not bad so where do you learn to do the you know the i hate to you, you taught yourself that magic yeah i did <laughs> champagne ah oh, yes thank you very much no i'm good thanks Oh, I'll take care. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. That's cool. To the end of the world. So, on the subject of love, is there a lucky bow waiting for you at the end of this crusade? Yeah, there is actually. Oh. Managed to maintain quite a serious long-distance relationship with a postman. 
And with charm like that, who could resist you? Love is mischief, then. What is this tension I'm feeling? It's kind of weird no. because it's himself. Love is uh, something I might have to have another drink to think about. <laughs> Cool train, but where'd he go? And oh, when the dance is done, when she sings, she sings, when she Oh, that's so cool. Norse mythology. Because they're bass. Yeah! I wanna be at this party! Another! I need more drink, Loki! But where's your uniform? We're meant to be laying low. Nobody cares. It's the end of the world. I think something's happening. Yes. Uh, that planet is about to crash into us. Don't be an ass. I saw some people looking at you weirdly. What? When did you get so paranoid? Oh, I guess it must have started. With an answer. To what? Your question. Love is a dagger. It's a weapon to be wielded far away or up close. You can see yourself in it. It's beautiful until it makes you bleed. But ultimately, when you reach for it, <laughs> it isn't real. Love is an imaginary dagger. It doesn't make sense, does it? No, it's a <laughs> terrible metaphor. Damn, I had something there. Uh. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, God, no. He's off the train now. Well, that's not ideal. Give me the temper. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, I had to take quite a tumble. You killed but us! Maybe we can fix it. Okay. Um. <laughs> the mission? What, your glorious purpose? Give me a break, you can't beat them. <sighs> I'm enjoying female Logan a lot. She's growing on me. What now? I don't know, you broke the tempad. Well, and that I mean, planet is about to crash into us. What about the Ark? The Ark never leaves because it's destroyed. Never had us on it. So what, we hijack the Ark and make sure it gets off this moon? I mean, sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. Really? <laughs> I enjoy this. Damn, this planet is so weird. But this is Majora's Mask! The moon is gonna crash on the planet! I feel like I've told you so much about me. I really don't know the first thing about you. Yes. The tactical advantage. That young soldier from the TVA. Her mind was messed up. Everything clouded. I had to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior. Before she even fought for them. What? What did you say? Before she joined the TVA? Yeah. She was just a regular person on Earth. A regular person? Loved margaritas. I was told that everyone who works at the TVA was created by the timekeepers. That's ridiculous. They're all variants, just like us. They don't know that. I knew it! The TVA is wrong! The time gods don't exist! Oh, this is so cool. No. Uh... <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, the music is so good. Ooh. Uh oh! Oh no! Ah, uh, this is this is the best one. This is the ending? That's the ending? That went so quick! What was that? Okay, Whew. that was so intense. I really enjoyed this episode. This episode was so good. Okay, 
quick, let's do this. Um, female Loki, really good character. At first, when I, when I first saw her face in the last episode, I was kind of like, huh? Does her hair need to be black? Doesn't she need to look more mischievous? Although, uh, I thought she looked kind of weird for a female Loki. But in this episode, she turned out so great. I really love her character. And she actually feels like a female Loki. Because the whole character of Loki is that he doesn't trust people. And that he, or well now he or she, is not to be trusted either. So that's really, really, really cool. This was so good. And apparently, my theory was right. The time, cooperation, people are not to be trusted. It is kind of weird that they're... At least it seems like they are developing a love relationship between Loki and the female Loki. But it's kind of weird because they're the same person from a different dimension, from a different timeline. So that would mean that Tom Holland Spider-Man would hook up with Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. That'd be the same thing then, essentially, right? And this also means that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man are can show up. The possibility is now here because this opens up more multiverse shit. They can do so much different things now. There's so much they can do. Oh, this is so good. I love this. I, I didn't talk about this last episode. I should have. There's so much they can do. I love it. I love everything about it. Loki's just being Loki. And watching this episode, him his uh, dy dynamic with female Loki is also really good. It's just like it was with Morbio. Uh, just like it is with Four. I really want to see Loki and Four together again. Because you could see that they're brothers, especially in this episode. Well, they're not related, but... <sighs> Four is also really... How do you say that? Awkward <laughs> in certain situations. But not awkward, awkward, but more cool awkward if you know what i mean he's awkward in a cool way and loki was really like that in this episode too so i really love that this was really good i i'm amazed these marvel shows are something else these disney plus shows i thought i still kind of think that these marvel shows are going to go to shit and that the whole mcu is going to collapse mainly because they really want to focus on politics and they need um uh, gay character, they need to make certain characters gay, they, you're gonna make a black Magneto for no reason at all, all those kind of things, and it kind of pisses me off because they have so much source material that they can focus on, and they don't need to do this political stuff, I mean, of course you can have gay characters, I mean, for the people who have seen me watch Black Tail, Black Sails, there's a gay character in that who is amazing, and, but the thing is, he is gay because it serves his story. It serves the story. So that makes him so good. And Marvel is just creating these characters because it's good for politics. And then people will think, oh, there's a gay character. In this. Now I need to watch this because blah, blah, blah. And that's stupid. And they don't need to do that. That's the thing. Because they can make good stories. There is nothing in the MCU except for Captain Marvel. And I need to be honest, I've never watched Captain Marvel. Because, well, I tried to watch it, but I couldn't. Maybe I should, I'd probably enjoy it. I don't know. But except for Captain Marvel, I've watched everything and I enjoyed everything. And the ones I enjoyed the least were the political ones like Black Panther, uh, Captain Marvel, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Even though I have rewatched Black Panther now a few times, and I must say that it gets better and better for me. So that one gets a pass, and I probably. In Winter Soldier wasn't that bad either, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Just don't focus on politics, that's what I want to say to Disney, but I know they will, because they have an, another agenda that they want to follow. And if you don't agree with me, that, that's okay, but I just don't think they, they need to do that. This is probably going to be my favorite one. I'm also really excited for the last episode because of the after credits scene. It's already too dark to watch another one, right? All right, I should give this episode a rating. I think this is my favorite one so far. And I think I'm gonna rate this one a nine out of 10. Yeah, this is a nine out of 10, definitely. This was really good, really good episode. I'm maybe gonna watch another one, but I think it's already too dark. Well, thank you guys for watching. 
this episode of Loki with me. Leave a like if you enjoyed the reaction. Uh, subscribe down below if you want to see me react to all the other Loki episodes. Ring the bell if you don't want to miss any of my Loki reactions. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.